Well, finance company just called during my lunch and informed us that uh, there was a vehicle that we repossessed a while ago as a black forerunner we got at night. And the girl came out and got some stuff out and we left. I don't remember what the video is called. I'll go look and see if I can find it, but link it up to this one. But uh, that was brought back up for repossession again over the weekend when my truck got wrecked. And so because the finance officer knew my truck was down over the weekend, he gave her till this week to uh, get the money in. And it's a double header. There's also supposed to be a Grand Prix on this assignment as well. And when we ran the address, the Grand Prix was not out there. And we made note of that. And the finance officer knows that he still doesn't have a title on that Grand Prix. So he called the DMV today and found out that they sold that Grand Prix on uh, the 15th of this month, so just last week. And she called him and called him and called him and called him and was trying to get that title out of him. Because she's like, we got to register the car, we got to register the car. So he gave them the title and it turns out instead of going and registering it, they sold the vehicle, so um, because they've done that, he's not going to give them any more time. They've basically committed fraud, so they're filing criminal charges on him right now. I've got paperwork in the truck. I've got to serve her when I go pick up the vehicle, but it's got a GPS device on it, so I've got to ping it real quick, make sure that it's pinging, and then, uh, which I checked it over the weekend, and it was pinging over the weekend. And then we will... And so on. Until finally, the tumors. What do you think of this show so far, sweetie? Good. Pretty informative, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you watching a different one than the one I had you watching when I left? Yeah. Did you finish that whole thing? Yeah. What'd you think? Makes sense. It's amazing about the meat, huh? Yeah. Sure. Me and Dean stopped eating cheeseburgers and shakes. And uh, pepperoni pizzas, that's cheese, meat, and bre that, the whole thing, an entire pepperoni pizza, is nothing but negative for our bodies. That's why it's so yummy, you know? It's amazing. So, I got good news and I got bad news. Bad news. Uh, the bad news is I have to go get this GPS forerunner right now. Mm -hmm. The good news is that means I won't have to worry about being here Friday at 5 so we can leave for camping. So... this thing real quick make sure we can see where she's at right now that way we we know where we're heading these seem to take more than 45 seconds to come back with a location we know that it's gonna give us an error and tell us that it can't see the device right now which is common we see we, we get that on these GPS devices where it depends on where the vehicles parked if they're parked underneath a overhanging eave that's made out of metal uh, it's enough to block these things yep there it is pulled up right there and it looks like it's sitting at the given address up in Bountiful so right up on the mountain so it's just sitting exactly where we repossessed it from previously but it's not blocked in or anything like that it's kind of a cul-de-sac shaped driveway and that's the, where the car was at I came down this road and I turned like this and backed up and hooked it right here so when we get there we'll see what the situation is go get us a forerunner and serve her papers and let her know that they are also being charged criminally for what they did by selling the other vehicle because that's fraud about to ruin someone's day uh, I've been pinging this uh, forerunner that we're up here for, that we had to serve these papers on, that was supposed to be a double header, but it turns out they've sold the other vehicle, which is uh, fraud. And uh, and so we have papers we need to serve her for that, uh, as well as pick up the forerunner. And it looks like she is out. Uh, it's moved from the given address. It's now off of the corner of 500 West and 400 North here in Battleford, which is right off the freeway. It looks like some kind of a business 
was out shop doing some shopping and stuff. I would have preferred to have gotten it at her home. It looks like she's behind a building in a back parking lot there. And she has no idea that the tracking device is on the vehicle, as far as I know. Um, I don't think the finance company uh, disclosed that to her, that that was put on after the last repo. And so this is one of those ones where she could be hiding the vehicle right now, um, based on the time of day and stuff, and looking at the account. There's a very good possibility that this is her hiding spot. And so um, we're going to be over here in just a second on this address, and we'll see what the deal is. Of course, she could also just be out shopping. I don't know what that building is until I actually get there. But it is some kind of a business. Okay, so we finally got through all those neighborhoods. This is like the worst time of the day to be stuck in these back neighborhoods. There's school zones everywhere and kids getting out of school and uh, crosswalks and uh, crossing guards and just the traffic is a nightmare you know, when you get off the main roads and get back into these neighborhoods at anywhere between 2.30 and 3.30. It's just, it's the worst time. It's like trying, it's like getting on the freeway at 4.30 and 5.30 because that's when rush hour is. And it's just, it's the worst time to be in that area. And so it took me almost 25 minutes just to get over to here to where she's at. I've pinged the vehicle three times and it has not moved. It's still sitting in this back parking lot at the front of this building right here. And this is the intersection right here that we're at right now. We're sitting at this intersection. So we're looking at the gas station right here. Is that Exxon right there? Certified, this is Matt. Hey, what's going on? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, just let me know. Then I'm I, I'm gonna be picking up this forerunner here in just a second, anyways, and heading back south with it. So it actually works out better that I get it tomorrow instead of today. So, okay, thanks. Uh huh. Bye. All right. So we've got this roof right here, which is over this gas station, and then we want to turn in right here. It should be right in front. Oh, it's the state liquor store. That's where she's at. Yeah, she's parked right in front of the liquor store. So I wonder if she works here. There's the vehicle sitting right there. Make sure she's not sitting in it. My guess would be this is where she's working. Yeah, she's not in the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and execute this repo. And then we'll go inside and have her come out let her get anything out that she needs right now out of the vehicle. You know the address of this liquor store?
one zero. Oh, I'm just going off of the information. They said that they got contacted by the Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division and that the vehicle is being showed, the title's been transferred to a new person. And so that's, I, I don't know, that, that's all they know is that the title's no longer in the... The title's still in my name. Not according to the, not according to the DMV. DMV is saying something different. And so that's why they're doing this stuff. Okay. And so you might want to, if, if, that's, if that's not the case, you might want to look into what's going on with that. But I'm, just, I'm going off of what they've given us. No, no, you're fine. I'm just, I'm just telling you the info they gave us, which is apparently the, the for whatever reason, the, that's what the DMV is saying. Is yeah, you know, I'll, you know, I'll do, I'll just, uh... I just don't want to lose it, man. No, you're fine. I'm Sure. Yeah, absolutely. that the uh, Forerunner has the exact same wheels on it as uh, the repo truck. Missing a couple lugs too. Oh, got all six on there. Did you know you were missing a couple lugs in the back on the other yes, side? Yes, sir, I sure do. Huh? A little scary on the freeway, that's for sure. <laughs> Looks like he ran over a, some onions, too. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. That's so fucking disgusting. People throw their shit in the parking lot. I told you this once before. This is one of the cleanest forerunners I've ever seen for this year. You keep, keep it really nice. out of her gourd. <laughs> this is her place of employment, which we will also add to our report. Pull out this way. <sighs> yeah, nothing like losing your vehicle and being served papers at the same time. Kind of a double whammy. Going straight from no vehicle to court. Especially when you have to go, you know, we're an hour, hour and 20 minutes north of our call area. 
and that's also where her court date is at. So now she has no vehicle and has to get a ride all the way down into Utah County. But that's the gig. We don't write the rules. We just pick up the vehicles and serve the papers. Nothing personal on my part. You know, the last thing she said to me was thanks for being cool. You know, or I think she said thanks for being a badass, which that works for me. But what she was saying was, you know, I wasn't a dick up in her shit, you know. I just let it ride and gave her the time she needed and until she was stressed and just kind of backed off and let her do her thing until she was ready. But this is the job. This is the job. So the story she called the finance company and the story she's given them is that they needed to get the vehicle, the other vehicle that's on the collateral that we thought had been sold to somebody else because it was transferred to someone's name with no lien holder that the finance company doesn't know. And so they thought they sold the vehicle out from underneath them, but it turns out that it's a, a family member of hers that he has no record of. And so that's why he didn't recognize the name. And so now we know who has that other vehicle and we have an address where that other vehicle's at. And we have a, now have a confirmed good place of employment for her, so if she doesn't follow through on what she has to do to get this loan current on the vehicle that I have on the back, as well as the one that, uh, and she's also supposed to get the finance company a title with a lien on it, uh, perfected correctly for the other vehicle. If they don't do all that within the period of time that he's given them, then he's gonna liquidate this vehicle and have us go after the uh, second vehicle, the Grand Prix, to get it picked up as well. So we'll see which way they go on this thing. But so far, it ain't looking good for him.